a fan, not a fan of them. My uh, great grandmother was German and uh, she was Jewish and she came to England in the early 1930s but because she was from East Germany she couldn't go back and visit her hometown, her, the house that she grew up in until the early 90s after the wall came down so she um, you know she like created a new life for herself in England um, but 60 years she was away from uh, her hometown and and also I think it's it, it's interesting to also realize where we are privileged as well so my mum when she was younger you know she was traveling she like hitched hike across Europe um, and this was in the 70s so uh, Berlin was divided but my mum because of the kind of passport that she had because she was a tourist um, she could pass through uh, from East Berlin to West Berlin to be able to get um, back home um, but the people living there couldn't and it, it's just really interesting to um, like kind of realize that as well um, my dad um, fled Iraq um, during Saddam's reign um, because he didn't want to go into the army and die basically and he escaped on, on false documents um, and fled to the UK where he met my mom. Uh, they now live in Ireland where they made me. Um, and you know, his story, I mean, you could make a movie out of that alone. And it was full of checkpoints and boundaries and barriers and people trying to hold him in. Um, and if he was caught um, or if the lie that he was telling was found out, it was almost certain death. Um, for him and you know if it wasn't for a one digit misprint in his birth certificate that made him appear 16 not 18 I wouldn't exist or my brother you know the life that we know as a family just wouldn't have happened one digit on a piece of paper so um, it's it's amazing to think of these young people that put everything on the line to not just escape themselves but to help people they didn't even know get over um, it's the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice.